Um, oh, here's another one. What are your body measurements? So my body measurements, I actually don't know my body measurements. Uh, I, I know a lot of you guys think that I just know that on top of my head, but no, I don't know my body measurements. Um, only time I do measure my body is if it's for like a fitting. So that's pretty much the only time I don't, I don't keep it down. I don't keep it. I don't memorize it. I just use it for that one second of that day. And then I just let it go. Um, are you natural? Is my body natural? So I am a uh, natural. I'm very scared of surgeries. Not my thing. Um, but I was bigger before. So I've always had a big butt but my waist did get smaller when I dropped weight and that's when I noticed that I carry most of my weight on my lower body. Um, growing up, it wasn't always like that. I think growing up, like my body had to mature because I did not have this body shape in high school. Not that I know of, maybe when I left high school. Definitely not in middle school, did not have this body in middle school. Um, what helps you stay so positive? So what helps me stay positive, I'm very strong-minded, which I love about myself. Um, I literally give myself a to-do list every day. I have a, a calendar to stay on track. So I keep myself busy and, you know, a couple times maybe I'll get down, but I seem to bounce out of it really quickly. So that is a very, I'm very fortunate for that. So I don't seem to stay in that dark space for too long. Um, I really don't know what this one means, but are you single? Are you single by choice? So pretty much the same question. Or, or are you in a relationship? So I am single. I would say I'm single by choice. Um, dating just isn't for me. I, over the years, I've really focused on myself. And when I do focus on myself, I notice that I'm just a better person and I tend to get more done. I tend to be more productive. Um, I find dating very awkward. Um, so yeah, I do, I do stay away from dating. Uh, I do want kids, so it's kind of a tough situation, but I'm always working on myself. So I, I seem kind of to give dating up for that, but who knows, maybe in the future. Mm -hmm. What made you like the desert so much? So, so, um, the desert, Joshua Tree, love it. I do stay to myself a lot. So the desert is just, it's a change. It's a scenery change. It's so peaceful, so quiet. I honestly do and still as I get to so it's just the peace the quiet there's no one around which I love um I would say it's just it's everything I love it the scenery I love it the wild animals you see like I'm kind of afraid but you still see like wild animals it's so cute um and then also like the tents and the domes out there like they're so beautiful like I cannot get enough of that let's see what made you start modeling so um most of you guys don't know I have talked about it a couple of times but I actually did not uh I wouldn't say I didn't start on my own but this whole Instagram thing it was it was new to me so what happened was I took a picture, so if you look kind of down on my Instagram, it would just be like face shots, like, you know, I thought I thought I looked cute from, you know, face up. So it was a lot of face shots, but one day I posted full body picture. And I got so many good feedback on it, and I was like, oh, wow, like, okay, I didn't notice, you know, a lot of people like my body. And... It was a boutique that actually messaged me and she was like hey i want you to model for my clothing and i was you know i was skeptical but and this was like years past so like it wasn't how it is now you know the whole influence the thing like it wasn't a thing back then so she actually asked to call me and i hate talking on the phone but i was like you know what it's a girl like let me just go ahead and pick up the phone or you know answer so I did, and she went ahead and explained it. Um, 
she did have a girl that used to do it or a girls that she was working with so i was fairly comfortable um she told me that she was going to send me the clothes she let me know kind of uh, she let me do my own thing, but she just let me know, like, hey, it has to be full body, like, all the pictures. And I was like, okay, I got it. And she was like, I'm going to send you the clothes, beautiful clothes. And that's pretty much how it started. And then from one boutique, another boutique asked me. And it even got to a point where, like, the, like, competitors were asking me. And then slowly I worked my way up to now. I pretty much model for Fashion Nova, like, full time. I always have... um I always have stuff I have to take pictures in, which is amazing. Like, I love Fashion Nova um, and a couple other brands, too. So I'm very grateful that, you know, this one person saw my my pictures and she was like, hey, what, I want you to model for me and just kind of took off from there. Um, so do you do any stomach workouts and do you wear shapewear at the gym? So I actually don't wear... Uh, shapewear at the gym. I love the way I look in shapewear. I'm sure every girl loves the way they look in shapewear But I don't wear shapewear at the gym reason is I don't want anything compressing my stomach I want to be comfortable. I feel like that's when I get the best workout. I don't want to be tugging on anything um, Yeah, I, I feel like uh, being comfortable at the gym is honestly the best for you um, as for the workouts no, I don't do any workouts to like target my stomach or anything like that now i did get into weightlifting but that's just because i work out with my nephew um he's 16 so he's super into weightlifting right now so i have been doing weights which i've noticed a change in my body but when i go to the gym i just um fairly notice a change in my body and it's always you know positive and people think it takes a long time to see results but it really doesn't. Once you wear something that you wore before, like you would notice that you slightly look different, but that makes a big difference. Um, best qualities. So a lot of people don't know this, but um, it, everyone would think I'll say like my looks or my butt, but no, I think I'm a super caring person. Not just caring, but like I have a small, ah, I dropped that. I have a small circle. So like my small circle literally gets the best of me. And if we're friends, I feel like we'll always be friends. Um, Just last year, I noticed that, you know, I can't always have the people I want around me. Just some aren't good for me. But for the most part, I love that. I always making people laugh and smile and I always go out of my way for them. So yeah, I think um, even the way I look out on things, I look at everything in a positive view. So I just love the way I am, my inner self, and I feel like that would be my best quality. So yeah, I think that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys can ask me more questions and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you guys. Bye.